heading in for an afternoon hunt at uh, my favorite spot. Pretty much I'm gonna be pretty committed over the next few days. I'm planning on hunting it from Wednesday to Saturday morning. I'll be hunting it every evening and then Saturday I'll hunt in the morning. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo! What a rush. Money. That deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, man. I saw him go what? down. Real quick before we start this video, this week's shout out goes to Andrew Chestnut, AKA The Professional. Here's his Instagram. This guy has set out to get a deer with his recurve and he did exactly that. Uh, make sure you guys go check out his page and uh, here's a short video of his most recent harvest. If you guys want to know how to get a shout out like this, go ahead and um, take a picture of this video, put it up on your story, and make sure you tag us on Instagram. Now back to your video. So it's been raining on and off, more on than off. But we figured there's not going to be a whole lot of people out here. And we already seen the deer moving on the way in. We actually seen a few deer in areas that we haven't seen them before. As long as that lightning stays away, we'll be okay. Hopefully, uh, having to sit in the rain pays off. Typical photo. And coming down over there. Oh, right over here. It is pouring over there. It's not raining on me. We're getting poured on right now. Five fifty one. Today's my last bow hunt in this area. We've had deer coming in every day. Just haven't had an opportunity at one. We'll see if today we can make it happen.
Six. Six fifty-five. <clears throat> Six fifty-five. I had a deer come in from behind me, a doe. It was actually a doe that I got on video. She has like a big old pouch under her. It's still a little bit dark. I was able to get put the camera on her, but nothing came out. I tried to re-watch the footage and it didn't show. I had a tree that was a few feet in front of her that I couldn't see. And I don't even see the arrow. We might have to go over there and look for it. But it deflected or something. And then I was pretty bummed about it. A few minutes later, this doe comes across. And she didn't take the trail that I was expecting. I, I moved my sight. I normally don't move my sight. For the for the range she was she was gonna be like 45 yards so i'm like you know what i want to put the pin right on her she ended up going up a little mound that's there and that's at 56 yards so i moved my sight again i put it at 56 yards drew up on her let it fly and she just like buckled and fell She was kind of quartering to me, so I was going for the neck. I think I hit her in the neck. She's she's kind of buckled in it. I was I don't know what was going on, so I put another arrow in her. I don't know I don't even know if I hit that second arrow. Hope I can find them. but I've been trying to shoot a doe for well over six years. My last doe was in 2015, and I've been wanting to shoot one to mount it with my buck. If I didn't destroy her neck, I think I might mount this one. So I've been hunting every day after work since Wednesday. Wednesday after work, I've been coming in here. And actually, on Wednesday, I didn't have any of my stuff set up because I was hunting somewhere else. So when I came in on Wednesday, I was setting everything up, putting my camera arm. And I didn't even have my camera arm on the tree. I had the camera arm on my lap. And then I had this doe, the one with the pouch, come by. And then she had another doe behind her. The doe behind her must have been blind or stupid or something because I wish I would have gotten on video. I just wasn't ready. She came walking kind of the same trail that that doe was, the first doe, but she, she was running into palmettos and stuff. I saw her like straight up, just go head first into some palmettos and then backed out of it. And then she went into some other palmettos, but she was like bucking her head through the palmettos. And she finally got through and she came like 26 yards from me would have been an easy shot but my camera gear wasn't set up and I was like eh, they didn't want to they didn't want to take it anyway that was Wednesday Thursday I didn't see anything oh I saw some deers crossing but they were like 70 80 yards out and then yesterday we came out me Mark and Alex it poured on us on the way in and then when we got here it got real nice for like an hour or two, no, maybe an hour, and then it poured on us again. We basically called it because it wasn't gonna stop raining until after dark. So we've been, I've been hunting this spot pretty hard over the last few days. I paid off. Today is actually the last day that I'm hunting this area for archery. This is the last weekend that you're allowed to hunt archery in here. This is the last day I was gonna hunt archery because Monday's my wife's birthday, so I'm gonna go take her out to dinner and, and do uh, family stuff. I shot a six pointer <clears throat> on opening day here. And now on my last day of our dream, I shot another deer. So exciting. Love it when all this stuff comes together. I mean, I've had some cool hunts, some cool sits. 
even the ones that I didn't harvest anything, they were really cool. I just love seeing beers running around and stuff. But getting some meat in the freezer is always nice. That just goes to show that with archery, if you do put a shot on something or you miss it or whatever the case is, don't get discouraged, you know? Hang in there, get your mind out of the dark place that it goes in whenever you miss or mess something up and just keep at it. You know, sit there quietly. These bows are pretty quiet, so unless you shot and the deers all start blowing and things really got sideways. You know, for the most part, they don't even know you're there. And they get spooked all the time. I've been watching deers just walk and for whatever reason, a group of doves fly up and they make that little and the deer will run. They'll generally run short distances and stop. That's exactly what happened this morning, you know, I, I, I ended up shooting at that doe and it sounded off. It in fact, it sounded really off. And she ran maybe 10 yards and it stopped. She ended up going behind these pine trees and it was like she went into Narnia. Like I never saw her or heard her again. I was baffled. I didn't know what the heck happened. And I stayed, stayed here, stayed quiet, stayed vigilant, looking around, and it worked out. You know, this other deal came out from a totally different direction. So, you know, whenever you, you make a mistake, you miss a deer, or whatever the case is, or a tree, or even general gun, muzzle it doesn't matter. Stick to it. You know, a lot of people think that you know, if you have a coyote run through your spot, or bobcat or something that you ruined the hunt and that's not the case I've had people walk past my spot and 15 minutes later end up shooting a nice buck so, so just a little bit of advice you know just it really sucks when you miss and, and even worse when like everything seemed just so right but it's important to get your head out of that dark area and make it happen so the other day that I shot Bruiser, I actually missed a six-pointer earlier in the day. And I was, I was tore up, you know, I was bummed. And maybe, I don't know, two hours later, I ended up seeing Bruiser, like, bedded down in the water uh, across from the flag pond. And he ended up coming in like a string. He came straight to me, 40 yards, laid him down. And this doe that I just shot, she was at 56 yards and we dropped her in her tracks. The other one, the one that shot her at earlier, was 35 yards. Messed it up. So basically, just stick to it. Stay persistent. Don't let your mistakes tear you down. That's what, that's what you're going to learn. And, you know, all because you see us with these harvests on YouTube and social media and stuff we go through a lot we hunt a lot we make a lot of mistakes we learn a lot from those mistakes and you know we're far from perfect things don't always go the way that we try to go I mean I've hunted 10 11 times since I shot that first year maybe not many maybe eight times and now I just harvest another one, but stay persistent, keep at it, and, you know, just be safe. Don't give up. That's the only way you're going to make something happen. I was just feeling pretty inspirational. Hope you guys uh, take a little bit from that, learn from my mistakes, and uh, you're going to make plenty of your own. So just make sure you learn from them and never give up.
Let's do the do. All right, so we're gonna go recover the first arrow of the, the first deer that I missed at 35 yards. Hopefully we can find it. This one had a, uh, oh, there it is. This one had a nocturnal, it didn't buy it up. Oh yeah. I need to buy a new nocturnal. Can you see this? Yeah. Yeah, I think the log is hollow. Just getting that broadhead out is going to be the tough part. Oh, I'm going to pull it. I'm just going to go through. How about those heavy arrows? Oh, wait. 430 grains. <laughs> 430 grains. Well, at least, at least the arrow looks good. 430 grains of shit so, That was a clean, clean miss. miss. Yeah. yeah, I saw her, man. Good. I'll shoot her tonight. All right, so we recovered the arrow. It's in good shape. Um, he can keep hunting. <laughs> <laughs> They're expensive. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go recover the still. No tracking needed. I think we're gonna have to call a dog on this one. Before we go any further, I just wanna say, this ESS is extremely comfortable. You've got one on each saddle now, don't you? The what? You got one on each saddle now. What do you mean? Didn't you get one on the Phantom last time? No, the ESS. The actual saddle. The other one you shot. Wasn't oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one in the Phantom and yep. one on the ESS. And I thought she was going to come out this way, but she ended up going to here. Oh, she's walking this little ridge thing, huh? That's a good dog. Oh yeah, dude, she's a big girl. Oh man, that's a fine shot. Holy shit. That's why she rolled. <laughs>